Hello everyone, this is Delaware Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the navigation drawer in the Android material design. Okay, uh, we've been having navigation drawer ever since uh, Android has come in to stay with, uh, from API 6 upwards. But now we'll be talking about the latest uh, uh, Android, Android 6, and also its navigation drawer which is quite more silker and more uh, uh, more embedded than the previous navigation drawer in Android. Okay, I have actually developed this in my uh, Android Studio, which is just a demo. No, it's not a complete uh, application. When I say not a complete application, I mean all activities for each uh, navigation menu has not been compiled, you know. I just have them listed and I have them as a demo purpose so you can actually pick it up as a framework for your application or as a start to your application ui if you really if you want to incorporate the navigation drawer into your into your design into ux design of your uh, mobile app all right uh, i'll be taking you straight to the applications and i will actually give you a high level rundown of how the application is actually developed okay uh this is android studio First of all, we'll look at the view.gradle, uh, which is the compilation where we talk about the dependencies, uh, the view types, and the default configuration. Okay, I would like you to look at the dependencies. I actually added the compile.support app compiled version 7. And also, the Android support design of 23.1.1. Alright. Alright, let's move to our, our layout files. We'll talk about the layout and also the menu uh, files. Okay, let's first of all pick up the menu. We'll be talking about the activity on this called nav or this called drawer dot XML, which is the nav drawer. This is actually holding on to the nav, you know, which is the sidebar, the application. Uh, so in the click of the uh, more menu, you see a drawer that's actually draws to the uh, side and you find list of menu right inside the drawer. This is actually being handled by the activity on this called nav that is called drawer. Okay. First of all, I have the menu, which is uh, a group Android check checkable behavior, which is single. We have for single, okay. We have different items inside this uh, group uh, tag. Uh, the first item we have the import, where we give it an ID of nav camera. Always taking cognizance of ID because ID are used, you know, in the course of your Java classes to uh, reflect back to each menu or each uh, uh, layer to ID. All right, and I actually pick a drawable, which is the IC menu camera, just like a camera a picture from the drawable. Okay, and the title on, on this uh, particular menu is called Import. We are for the gallery, you know, we give the nav gallery ID. We are for the slideshow. We are for the nav manage, and these are just for the checkable behavior, which are single. Okay, uh, immediately afterwards, after the group, we have the item which uh, we are assigned a tie to communicate. Okay, we have the menu and we have an we have two items in the menu. You know, I want you to actually see how these have been placed. You know, with each other. Okay, the item we have the nav share as the ID where we give it the title of share and we give it. Uh, we have another item called nav send where we give it the title of send. You know, all these are. Uh, Many drawables are you no know, being placed in the drawable fo folder where well, you have them over here. Okay, that's fine. That's for the uh the slideable, which is the drawer itself uh menus. You know, you can actually edit this to your own taste to what you really want to uh illustrate. Uh, we have the nav drawable XML. Oh, uh, this is just an item with the ID action settings. Okay, this is for the settings. There's another menu which is right in the far right corner of the uh, action bar of the application okay let's quickly look at our layout we have the activity nav drawer dot xml all right uh this is a, a support version 4 widget draw layout right uh where we have we assign an id to it draw layout the layout with an height is match parent where the fit system windows is true and we have the open drawer which starts okay we have to include uh some layouts uh files where we are where we actually included the layout app bar nav drawer we'll be talking about this example afterwards uh where we assign the match parent to the layout with tonight 
okay we have another tag android support design widget navigation view you know this is for the nav view okay we assign an id to it nav view uh the width night trap content match parents respectively uh we have a gravity of start okay and the header layout we give it an header you know whereby we call on the layout and the nav header uh nav drawer we'll get to talk about that and also we call on the menu also now we call on the activity nav drawer xml talk about that earlier okay let's quickly look at the upper nav drawer xml no now when we talk about uh navigation drawer uh layout we we'll talk more about the XML. Once you get the XML right in place, the only thing you just need to do is reference the ID and start to code up with different uh, Java classes for each activity. That's just it. Okay. Now we have a coordinator layout whereby uh, we call on the layout with match parents and height and the context. So which context is this actually being tied to? It's tied to Navdra activity or uh, Java class. Okay. Okay. We have the support design widget abba layout this for the abba you no know, we have the top we have abba we have uh i will actually display uh a picture for you to actually depict uh what this the abba is and what the toolbar actually is okay uh the layout width of the abba layout is match parent and wrap content for the height it goes on the theme app theme abba overlay so we're talking about the widget toolbar too where we call on the we give it an id toolbar and also the width is match parent and also the style we're calling yes the app theme pop-up overlay okay uh we close up our android support design widget abba layout and now we call on the include layout where we where we can include which layout are we putting into it? this uh set of lay uh tags okay we're going to include the content nav drawer okay after this layout i'll be talking about the content nav drawer now we're going to add a floating action button you know you should not do that by now okay so a floating action button will be by the lower uh the bottom uh far right bottom of the ui okay we give it an idea of fab okay now the layout graffiti i want you to understand this is the bottom end so it's going to sit by the bottom and also by the right okay so we give it uh a drawable uh, what we call on the source of the drawable which is the ic dialog uh email okay we have to close it up with the widget coordinator layout the abba nav drawer xml okay now we call on the content nav drawer okay and this content nav drawer is just a relative layout we've actually included this in our abba nav drawer it has a text view which is hello world you can decide to you know this is just for a demo, a demo purpose you can decide to say welcome to welcome to android material design application to run. okay all right you can actually do something else here yeah? it's not a must it should be uh should be one aspect okay now we have uh the last uh nav uh xml we'll be talking about which is the linear layout or uh, the nav header or the nav drawer you know it's a linear layout we have the background we are calling or the drawable the side nav bar okay we have the image view uh for this uh particular drawer okay we are assigned we are going to give it the source of the drawer the same dev app icon okay there's a text view for this where we actually have a text called android studio and also uh the text view again for this particular this uh header is the header of the drawer you know this header of the drawer you can you can find it in google right google has a specialized header for a drawer where it's going to be your signing uh logo and even your gym email you know you can actually be able to work on this modifier on this header is the first aspect you see uh on this uh so, so i can easily write try to uh display my my email for you to to be able to contact me in forward delivery studios dot com this is always like uh your 
your profile it actually picks the picture from your profile and actually picks some details you know this is the header of the drawer okay that's fine all right let's look at a java class nav drawer activity no that's our java class that's actually holding on to this navigation view okay it extends that compressor activity and implements the navigation view calling on the on navigation item selected listener item selected not on click here now actually we imported some stuff the navigation view the snack bar the graffiti compare the draw layout the action bar toggle the app compact activity the toolbar and also the menu and the menu item okay let's continue we have an uncreate method whereby we set the content view to the rate to the layout of the activity the nav drawer and we also instantiate the toolbar we call on the id of the toolbar and we set the support action bar based on the toolbar object okay now we're going to instantiate the floating action button okay whereby we could give it an object called fab now we set an unclick listener to this fab i'm in the process of clicking the action button which is the floating action button there's going to be a snack bar that slides uh from the from beneath which is going to actually tell you to replace with your own action you, know, you can actually do that uh on your own can be modified now we're going to uh instantiate the draw layout to give it a draw object okay uh pass calling the id of the draw layout which is from the layout and also the action bar draw toggle you know actually going to give it an object called toggle and so we, we call it to this uh class the drawer and the tuba okay we open the navigation drawer and also close it at the same time so we're going to set draw listener to based on the toggle and we're going to synchronize the state of the toggle okay that's fine and now we're going to do the same thing for the navigation view okay we get the nav view and also uh we set the navigation item selected listener to this navigation view now on back press method when you press back what's going to happen we're going to start instantiate the draw layout we give we assign an id we call from the id of the layout and also we do an if statement now if the draw is the draw open our method we passing on the graffiti compact start okay so the draw will be you are going to close the draw and you call on the graffiti compact start as well else uh on back should be pressed you know if this uh actions then actually occur the back uh press should actually take effect from the super class okay uh we have the on create options menu you know whereby if you have some options from the uh act, act, action bar or from the bar of the top bar okay we have the an option item selected too these are just there by default you can actually modify this if you actually have some menu to talk about but i would like us to look at one aspect which is the on navigation item selected okay this is going to pass in a parameter called menu item and also the its object called item okay now we're going to undo navigation view item clicks here okay that each uh, menu if you click each menu you know what's going to happen this is where uh the style of calling on different activities will actually come in you can also use intent to call this now uh you can extend this more you know this is just a demo this is like a demo a first intro you know to your navigation uh ui you know if the id is equals to the by based on the idea of the nav camera you know so you can actually call an intent to another class you know so it's going to show another class so you can code up what you really need to it to happen in another class right in this aspect you call an intent and else if if not you call an intent for this gallery and if not for the if the is not both the, these two if it's for the slideshow you call an intent for that if it's for the nav manager you call the separate intent it's for the nav share probably are going to call uh, an explicit intent for nav share probably to other application and if for the nav send you also do the same thing you know this layout is quite fine you can actually extend from this you know if you actually know what you're doing in android programming okay now you're going to call on the draw layout you know and get the id draw layout and close the draw you know once it's open you know that must be corresponding close so that's why i would like to launch this in my journey motion emulator that we're going to see how it's been displayed you know this is a basic uh navigation drawer in android material design okay okay uh i'm going to launch it, launch the application into my journey motion emulator so let me bring my journey motion to foreground and let's see how the application is okay uh this is the nav draw demo okay we have a floating button over here with the message uh icon okay welcome to android material design navigation drawer that's the uh main activity all right we have our um toolbar over here uh which 
you actually probably have all the settings and you can actually have some menus there as well okay all right let's click on navigation drawer okay all right uh -huh. this is the header that i was talking about you can actually uh, uh modify these further uh we have the menus uh we took about the import the gallery the slideshow the tools the share and the same uh they are all incorporated while uh in the xml so you can actually extend these the imports uh thereby calling an intent on it okay or uh, or actually including an explicit intent to other applications for listening or you actually uh, code up uh, a particular java class to handle the import the gallery the slideshow the tools so that they will have their own activity right in the window of the application okay i think that's fine this is a framework that you can actually pick up to develop a more robust uh Android application using the navigation drawer. Thank you very, very much, my good listener, for hanging out with me. I hope you've been able to understand this material Android design navigation drawer very, very well. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.